What's up, you guys? So, I've had these braids in for a good four or five days. And I'm ready for them to come out. I don't know, I just want a different hairstyle. I can't wear braids for a very long time. Plus, kind of like, they're a little frizzy in the roots. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I don't like that, so. This is just gonna be a chill, kind of chit chat. Get ready with me because I'm going from get ready with me even though i'm not really getting ready to go anywhere i'm just getting rid of these braids I'm trying to think what should i talk about I'm trying to pull out my instagram because i had like hella questions that i didn't answer from a video that i did like two weeks ago yeah, i think i'm gonna just do like a quick little q a grab you something to eat watch me take down these braids and answer questions so i use some grapeseed oil just so that my hands can be a little slippery when i'm removing these braids because i hate removing braids y'all so the first question these are like old questions do you have anything planned for when you hit 100k subscribers actually i do this person was asking like giveaways and stuff i may not do a 100k giveaway just because i do giveaways on my channel like all the time i'm actually planning another giveaway today i have something planned it's not gonna be the very second i hit 100k subscribers but yes i do have something planned for after did you drop out of college honestly y'all sometimes i really want to drop out because honestly if you think about it you can go to walmart and work full time and depending on the lifestyle you want to live you're good <laughs> like you can live off of that income for me based off the income i have now i don't really need a a job because that's kind of what we go to college for we go to college for future advancements and employment right but i don't know i just i just feel like honestly y'all i'm kind of like in college just to be in college <sighs> i never go to any of the any parties any games or anything at my college i do online classes so never meet any of my instructors it's like i'm there but i'm not some of you guys are probably thinking wow he's really boring but i just don't have the energy for it it's just like i'm just here to get that degree <laughs> i don't care about all the extra shit i don't care about how many parties i can go to how many friends i'm gonna make cool. and i feel like you don't really have to be in college you don't have to attend college to be successful another thing is i feel like people's uh definition of success not everyone's definition of success is the same basic what am i even talking about have i even answered the question basically to sum it up um i'm still in college but sometimes i do want to drop out like sometimes i'll be thinking midway through a test is it really worth it? Like, just shit like that. Wow, it took me four minutes just to answer one question. Next one, all right, this one's, yeah, this one's pretty recent because I was kinda, uh, I was kinda, kinda speaking what was on my mind on Instagram. This question was, who you been beefing with? You been throwing a lot of shade on Instagram, which is false. I don't have any tea to spill. I'm not throwing any shade. I just posted something on my Instagram a couple days saying you know what's the point of basic what's the point of following me or whatever if you're a content creator what's the point of following me if you don't connect with me if we don't if we don't talk or anything if you don't like my content like if i don't see you in my notifications or anything why are you following me? because when i follow someone it's generally because i like their content and when they post something new i will like it but it's like, I don't always see that when people follow me. It's just like, you just follow me just to follow me. So basically, that's what I was talking about on my Instagram. And I was like, because a lot of people, that's another thing. It's like, some of these content creators, they'll watch my story. Like, they'll keep up with my life. They'll keep up with me. But it's like, they don't like the shit that I produce. And so that's why on Instagram, I was like, if you're seeing this, and if you feel like this is directed towards you, then unfollow me so i can unfollow you so that's really what went down on instagram i wasn't i don't have beef with any youtubers i don't really talk to a lot of youtubers i don't watch a lot of youtubers so with that being said i don't have a lot of negativity to say about a lot of youtubers because i don't know anyone like that are you still living in fayetteville yes i am um hopefully not for too much longer and um my biggest excuse that i've been saying the more i think about it the more it's just more of an excuse um, i'm going to georgia to finish up school and instead of living on campus i'd rather get my own place just because i've been wanting my own place for almost a year now and i'm getting to the point where i can afford to live on my own so when can we expect your vlog channel to be up Ever since I mentioned that I was creating a vlog channel, y'all have been, <laughs> y'all have been blowing up my messages about it. 
So I just broke the bank with this new camera. I label it a vlog channel, but I'm gonna be doing more than just vlogs. It's gonna be entertainment stuff. Like one day it could be a story time. Then the next day it could be a reaction video. And then the next day it could be a vlog. And then the next day it could be a prank or something. It's just, it's gonna be different stuff. I probably won't get the camera that I need for it until January because I wanna have two separate cameras. Besides YouTube, what do you do in your everyday life? I feel like you are such a private person and aside from your hair videos, we never see the real you. Okay, well, you guys always see the real me. Like, I'm very transparent. I don't put on an act for the camera. So naturally, I'm just very chill, laid back, and I'm very private about certain things. Actually, a lot of my time goes towards YouTube. Outside of YouTube, I'm typically doing schoolwork, or, I mean, I'm just being the typical 19-year-old. To be honest, I really don't do much. My shoulders are... Hurt and doing your hair is really no joke. Would you ever stop doing hair videos? Um, unless I just completely run out of things to talk about and people stop sending me products and my hair falls out. Um, I'll probably do hair videos for a very long time. I can definitely see them kind of slowing down in the future. I can't really predict the future. I don't really know what's gonna happen on my channel in years to come, but I can definitely see myself like slowing down the hair videos, but just completely stopping them. I don't see it happening. What do y'all wanna see more of on my, on this channel? Honestly, you can comment stuff that you wanna see on my other channel. That would, I would appreciate that as well. But I wanna do, I wanna stick with doing like hair hygiene related stuff on my main channel and save the extra, extra stuff for my other channel. You know, comment hair videos you wanna see. Comment people I should collab with. Just trying to get a thumbnail, y'all. I completely forgot to get a thumbnail. I hope this is the last one. Of course it's not. This, this doesn't make any sense. Think about just taking some scissors <laughs> and just cutting it. I don't even care if some of my real hair comes out. Oh my goodness. How does it get tangled like this? Of course this happens to the last braid. Oh, not a lot of hair even came out. <sighs> Finally done, bro. This could be a hairstyle. Oh wait, never mind. I don't know. Well, I kind of like it. Let me go look in the mirror real quick. Next thing I'm gonna do is just take my pick. I literally just washed my hair not too long ago. My scalp really isn't dirty. My hair is built up on it. It needs to be clarified. <laughs> It's totally a lot of hair. <laughs> See what happens when you take care of your hair, you do not lose a lot of area. I just received this today from Miss Jessie's. It is the Miss Jessie's Super Sweet Back Treatment, and it's a deep conditioner. Never in my life have I used this, but I opened it. It smells like um, pink bubble gum. All these products, they remind me of some scent that I previously smelled in my childhood. I received like over $100 worth of products and I really don't know where to start. I'm gonna wet my hair since deep conditioners work best on like wet, damp hair, wet hair basically. Obviously back. They look a little weird and dried out and mess just because I just because of the way I applied this deep conditioner. Plus my hair needs to be <laughs> Yeah, my hair needs to be clarified. I'll go into detail about that in a whole other video. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video guys. If you enjoyed, then give me a big thumbs up. Um, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.